हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑक्सफर्ड मॉडर्न इंग्लिश ऑनलाइन क्लास आर टू डेज लेसन इज फ्रॉम ग्रेट फोर इंग्लिश बुक एंड आर लेसन नेम इज द एम्बेसडर्स दिस गाइज स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट अ रशियन नॉवल्स I hope you will enjoy listening this story and learn the new words and the story. Okay, first of all, I will read some difficult words of this lesson. Ambassador, an official of the highest rank sent by one country to another. as a representative boss to praise or speak highly about yourself club a heavy stick with a thick end used as a weapon lance a long wooden weapon with a pointed steel head used by horsemen tribute a payment made by one ruler to an other okay students now let's start reading of the lesson once in the palace of vladimir a great russian prince of kiev all the nobles were making boasts one noble boasted of his strength another showed off his wisdom others boasted of their wealth or their trusted horses one noble stavo godinovich said nothing at all he sat with a dreamy look on his face prince vladimir noticed this and asked why are you silent stavo have you nothing to say great prince replied stavo i have nothing to boast of except my wife katrina she is young and beautiful braver and more skillful than any warrior here she shoot with a bow sing like like a nightingale and enchant everybody with her harp and no one here will ever beat her at chess is that so interrupted the prince yes indeed great prince replied stavo she could easily defeat all your nobles and pardon me for saying so great prince but you are no match for her either the prince became very angry when he heard this he glared at stavo and said you have gone too far this time how dare you say that i am no match for your wife the prince pointed a finger at stavo and turning to one of his guards said take this man away throw him into the dungeon gave him oats and water nothing more now go the god did as he was instructed he threw stavo into a cold dark dungeon the only light came from a small window with thick iron bars how up near the ceiling all stavo could see was the sky he sat on the cold stone floor feeling very sad as night fell stavo looked out of the window at the stars in the sky alas he thought to himself i have served the prince for 9 years and this is how he repays me i am sorry i hurt the prince but i only spoke the truth about my wife i hope someone tells katrina where i am 
Katrina heard what had happened to her husband. She tried to visit him the following day, but the guards would not let her in. So she thought of a plan to rescue him. Katrina called together her band of 30 archers, 30 chess masters and 30 musicians. She told them she needed their help to rescue her husband and they agreed to help her. The next day, Katrina got ready. She wore a suit of armor with a helmet to cover her face. She carried a bow and some arrows, a club of steel and a long lance. Perched on her left for forearm was a falcon. She mounted a tall black horse. When her friends arrived, she set off for the palace leading them a short distance from the walls of the city. Katrina told her followers to wait. She rode, she rode by herself into the city and went to the great hall of the palace. All the people thought she was some great warrior. Of course, no one guessed she was a woman. Katrina bowed to Prince Vladimir. I am the ambassador of the King of Greece. She announced, I have come to collect tribute from you. If you refuse to pay, my army of 40,000 men will attack your city. Prince Vladimir trembled with fear. Give me time to think, Ambassador, he begged. Time is precious, roared the Ambassador. I want your answer now. Pay the tribute or we will attack. If you cannot pay, then give me your niece, Zabawa, to be my wife. The princess, the prince niece, Zabawa, was a beautiful and clever girl. The prince loved her dearly. There was nothing in the world he would do to harm her. At this time, Zabawa was sitting in the great hall, watching and listening to all that was said. The prince asked her, Beloved niece, only you can save us. What are we to do? Dear uncle, replied Zabawa. I obey you in all matters, but I cannot marry a woman. This ambassador is not a man, but a woman. See how the ambassador talks and walks. Look at the ring marks on her delicate fingers. You may be right, agreed the prince, but what can we do to find out if the ambassador is a man or a woman? A little later, Prince Vladimir spoke to the ambassador. Dear ambassador, said the prince, my niece is used to people with great skills. I can only allow her to marry you if you can show us you are skillful. Come, show us if you can play the harp. A harp was brought and Katrina began to play it and sing. The nobles were enchanted with the music but no one could tell whether the ambassador was a man or a woman then the prince asked the ambassador to play a game of chess the prince was the best player in the land he believed if the ambassador was a woman she would lose much to the prince astonishment the ambassador won the game the prince turned to Zabawa. This is no woman, he whispered. I am sure she is, replied Zabawa. The prince thought for a while, then said to the ambassador, Let us now try some archery. The prince, the ambassador and the nobles all went outside into a large country yard. A golden ring was set up at one end and the prince placed a steel knife behind it. First, the prince shot three arrows at the target. The arrows passed through the ring
but did not hit the knife. Then the ambassador shot an arrow at the ring. The arrow hissed like a snake as it flew. It passed through the ring and cut itself into two against the edge of the knife. The prince was now sure that the ambassador was a man, but Zabawa still did not agree with him. I shall not marry a woman, she cried. The ambassador may shoot arrows just like a man, but he talks, walks and sits, and sits just like a woman. The prince became angry. You are being silly, he said. I order you to marry the ambassador. Go prepare for your wedding. Sabawa ran off in tears. The prince told the ambassador that his bride would soon be ready. But Katrina decided to put an end to this game. She said to the prince, Before the wedding, let us fight each other. Let us see who is stronger. Trembling at this suggestion, the prince said, Ambassador, there is no other here who is your match. Oh dear, replied Katrina, is there no one? I was looking forward to some support. Perhaps there is a brave warrior in your Dungeons who could fight me. Yes, yes, there is, said the prince, smiling and remembering Stavor Godinovich. He immediately ordered his guards to bring Stavor from dungeon. Soon Stavor Godinovich arrived. He was ordered to put on a suit of armor and mount a horse. When Stavor was ready, he and the ambas ambassador galloped into a nearby field. All the nobles went to watch the great fight. The ambassador and Stever rode towards each other and then left from horse to horse. They threw their steel clubs in the air and then rode straight towards the prince. The terrible ambassador of Greece took off her helmet and threw it at the feet of the prince. Katrina's beautiful long hair fell down over her shoulders. The nobles gasped in surprise. Great prince, laughed Katrina, I have rescued my husband from dungeon. You must agree, he was right to boast of my skills. Now farewell. And laughing together, Katrina and Stavo Godinovich rode away. Students, I hope you like the story. I will tell you how to write answers of these questions in the next video. Till then, see you.